The world is full of mountains, and many of them, no matter how big or small, have been conquered by man when they reached the top. With the advent of modern civilization, one could assume that every mountain has been climbed. So we must ask ourselves, what is the highest unclimbed mountain in the world? As is obvious, an unclimbed mountain or virgin peak is a mountain peak that has yet to be climbed to the summit. However, establishing which unclimbed peak holds the highest position is frequently a subject of debate. In certain regions worldwide, the accuracy of surveying and mapping remains questionable, and there is a lack of comprehensive records detailing the routes taken by explorers, mountaineers, and locals. Complicating matters further, even modern ascents by larger groups may lack thorough documentation. Without a universally acknowledged list, the determination of the world's highest unclimbed peaks is somewhat speculative. Today, numerous untouched peaks still exist, often due to the mountain's inaccessibility, arising from geographic isolation or political instability. Some mountains are strictly off limits, based on the religious beliefs of a country or region, considering these peaks as sacred, and insisting they remain pristine. One such notable example is Mount Kalash, situated in the Ngari prefecture of China's Tibet Autonomous Region. Revered in Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, and Bon, Mount Kalash serves as a sacred site for annual pilgrimages. However, due to its sanctified status, any attempt to set foot on the mountain's slopes or climate is strictly prohibited. The world's third tallest mountain, Kanchenjunga, situated on the Nepal Sikkim state border in India, has witnessed several successful summits. The first climb on May 25, 1955, was led by English mountaineers Joe Brown and George Band as part of the 1955 British Kanchenjunga expedition. Honouring a commitment to Tashi Namgyal, the Chogyal of Sikkim, they stopped just shy of the true summit, vowing to leave it untouched. Subsequent mountaineering parties may or may not have adhered to this agreement. In a similar fashion, Nanda Devi, India's second highest mountain, has seen numerous ascents, but the highest summit remains unconquered. Recognising its religious significance and to safeguard its delicate ecosystem, the government of India prohibited access to both locals and climbers in 1983. There is a belief that Machu Pushare in Nepal has never been successfully summited. The sole documented attempt occurred in 1957, when a British team led by Lieutenant Colonel Jimmy Roberts made an ascent. Climbers Wilfred Noyce and ADM Cox reached within 150 metres of the summit via the North Ridge. However, upholding a pledge made to King Mahendra of Nepal, Noyce and his team refrained from reaching the summit and descended, publishing the only climbing record of the mountain a year later. Since then, no climbing permits have been issued for the mountain. Thus, Gangkar Puwonsum, on the border between Bhutan and Tibet, is widely regarded as the highest unclimbed mountain globally in terms of elevation. Despite Bhutan opening its doors to mountaineering in 1983, four expeditions attempted but failed to summit the mountain in 1985 and 1986. However, in Bhutan, ascending mountains exceeding 6,000 metres has been forbidden since 1994. This prohibition stems from local traditions that regard such peaks including Gangkar Puwinsum as sacred abodes of protective deities and spirits. Additionally, the absence of high altitude rescue resources close in India reinforces this restriction. The ban was reinforced in 2003, extending to a complete banning of all forms of mountaineering within Bhutan. Thus, Gangkar Puwinsum is likely to remain unclimbed as long as the Bhutanese government maintains these restrictions. So now it seems the question is, what is the highest unclimbed mountain in the world that is legally climbable? Determining the highest unclimbed non-prohibited mountain remains unclear, as different criteria are applied. Some consider only peaks with a topographical prominence of 100 metres as individual summits, while the International Climbing and Mountaineering Federation uses a 30 metre cutoff to define individual summits. Applying the Federation's criteria, Muchul Chish in northern Pakistan emerges as the world's tallest legally climbable mountain that has not been ascended yet. This has been made Jack, and if you're climbing a mountain right now, please leave a comment down below.